Hi, my amazing family. Welcome back to my channel. Here I am with the big six months growth challenge result. As you can see, I took down the braids. I measured my hair. So if you want to see how many inches I grew, keep watching. I'm ready. As you can see, I'm wearing the same dress that I wore on day one. But first, I am going to introduce you to Revealed Pearl. Revealed Pearl is my brand. It's a brand that I'm working on for months right now. Because of you who keep asking me for oils, for hair butters, I decided to create a website and put the products available for people who want to use my products. But I also have to say that I'm not going to sell only oils and butters. I'm also planning on selling hair accessories and affordable wigs. So stay tuned. I will let you know when is the big day. Okay, the website is not live yet. I'm going to record a another video to show you all the work that I'm doing in the background to prepare for the big lunch day so stay tuned okay I don't want to keep you for a very long time talking about the product let's go to do what you came here for let's take down the braids and measure my hair I am going to take down the braids right now I'm gonna leave the braids that I'm showing you for last because this is the braids that I'm gonna measure the back the front and the sides okay I'm gonna start by saying that it was a long day okay it was a long long day I started to take down the braids at 8 30 I promise you I finished at 4 30 and I didn't even stop once okay I didn't stop to cook I didn't stop to even serve food to my family I spent the whole day taking down my braids in case that you're wondering, I only have a leave-in conditioner on my hair right now. If you want to see, if you want to watch the whole process, please check the description box because I have a very detailed video on the steps that I took before taking down my braids. So please check the description box. You will find the link in there. This video is very long, I know, but I wanted to show you the whole process. I'm going to be honest with you. I was thinking on posting two different videos, part one and part two, but I was like, people are waiting for this result. I don't want to just post part of it on Sunday and part of it on Tuesday. I was like, let me just put everything in one video. Excuse me for the long video. But I really wanted to show you the whole process, the takedown and the measurement and the result, the before and after. So everything is in there, okay? <laughs> I am so sorry for this long video.
I started to twist my hair after I take down each braid and then I decided to just make one big braid, you know, because I was like, let me change the look a little bit because you see me so many times with twist braids. I was like, for real, let me just change the look a little bit. <laughs> The shrink edge is a liar and my hair is the worst. I'm telling you, my hair shrinks a lot. <laughs> my hair is the worst. Oh my God, I can't. <laughs> This part of my hair was very, very hard to detangle for some reason. I don't know why. It was so hard to detangle this part of my hair. Oh my God, it was very, very hard. I was tired at this point. My arms were hurting me. I was really, really tired because I really finished it all in one day. I finished with one side, now I'm just twisting it so I can do the other side.
At this point, I was almost finished. I only had two left. It was a very long day and I was so tired. The shrinkage is too much. You see it, guys? You see it? When I'm telling you that my hair is the worst, my hair is really the worst. <laughs> Finally, I finished to take down the braids right now. I am just going to measure my hair. Who? Now I am going to play the clip that I took on July 7th for you so you can compare. Okay, in case that you didn't watch this video, I will also put the link in the description box for you. As you can see, this is day one of the challenge, the measurement that I had on day one. The left side was 17 inches long. I also measured the right side. It was also 17 inches long. The back was 16 and a half inches on both sides. And this is where my hair was when I pulled it in the back. Now, let's go measure my hair. Let's see how long my hair is right now. To measure my hair, I am just going to pull my edges away. Oh my God, look at my edges. I don't know if you remember on the first clip, how short my edges were. Now, look at that. I'm gonna part my edges. You're gonna see how long is my edges right now. Oh my God, look at that. That's hair. Woo. This is the moment of truth. Six months later, did I grow seven inches? I'm not sure. Let's watch. I know you can already tell. It was 17, now it's 24 inches long on this side. But keep watching, okay? Keep watching. On this side, I did grow seven inches. Let's watch. Did I grow seven inches everywhere? Keep watching. <laughs> 
for the left side, it's a win. Now let's measure the right side. Okay, let's see how long is that today. I thank God for my edges. I'm telling you, do you remember how short that was? Go watch the first clip, you will see. It was very, very short. Now let's measure the right side. The right side was also 17 inches long in July 2022. Let's see right now how long it is. So you can already tell, I think, you see, it's 23 inches long today. The right side is 23 inches long. So for the right side, it's a big fail. <laughs> I didn't grow seven inches on the right side. This is what I was saying, big fell. I was already laughing at myself because I was like, I don't feel like the back of my hair grew so, so much. You know, later on in the video, I'm gonna explain to you what happened and you will understand, okay? So let's check. I'm gonna check the back right now. I had to mute the video, but I was saying that's short because my baby was watching Coco Melon, my kids, were making noise so you know there was no point i had to mute the video so the back was 16 and a half inches today how long it is today it's exactly 23 inches long so i kept six and a half inches in the back back right side i have to say because i'm gonna measure the left side also I really thought that the back of my hair would be longer for real. When I started the challenge, when I saw all the growth that I keep getting in the back, I was like, I will definitely pass waist length after six months, you know, because my hair grew a lot in the back, but it wasn't the case. And I'm going to show you exactly why. Now my hair is 23 inches long in the back now let's measure the front if you make it to this point it's a very long video thank you so so much for watching and i also want to say that we are going to start a three months cornrows challenge so if you want to join the challenge please go on instagram and write me there let me know that you want to join the three months cornrows challenge it's so important to stop touching your hair if you wanna retain length. There's no way around it. If you keep manipulating your hair, you will never retain length. You see that? Okay, a lot of people are asking me all the time why you keep your hair in a braid. This is what works for me. <laughs> and it's so easy to retain length like that. So that's why I do that. I'm gonna cut some of the thin ends and then i will put my hair in corn rolls for three months and i pray that after three months i can get the length back because i'm loving the new length the new growth the thickness the fullness guys i'm loving it you see how i'm detangling my hair right now i wanted to show you that that's why i don't fast forward it a lot I'm just parting my hair in very small section with my fingers and then I'm detangling my hair. And then after that, I'm gonna use my fingers as a comb. You know my method, I shared that on a video. 
I have a specific video for that, you know. So this is exactly what I'm doing. I'm just going to use my fingers as a comb and then I am going to use a comb after. When you do it like that, you will definitely retain a lot of length. You know, I don't want to say that you're going to retain everything, but trust me, you will not have a lot of breakage. If you grow one inch or two inches, you will keep almost everything. Now I'm going to measure the front part of my hair. Let's see how long it is today. The front is 25 inches long today. So from 18 to 25. For the front is also a big win. <laughs> I honestly wasn't surprised because you know the front of my hair I pull it all the time when I'm washing my hair I could already tell that it was past my breast you know so I already knew that my hair grew a lot here is some picture comparison between day one and six months later this is what I was trying to tell you about the back you see on day one I had a lot of thin ends maybe split ends also but right now i don't have that they, they don't transform they broke okay because right now you can see that i don't have that so that's why i don't see the length in the back because i for sure lost about three and a half inches of hair in the back right now i'm just gonna part my hair in half you know i like this look oh i love it yeah so i'm just gonna twist my hair i'm gonna make two big twists and i can say that's it for the video get ready for the three months cornwalls challenge don't forget to like the video it will help my channel a lot i will get more recommendation and also subscribe if you're not a subscriber and turn on your notifications bell so you don't miss another video from me if you're a subscriber check to see if your bell is on so you can be notified when i post another video as i always say you know that i love you so so much because there's a lot of people out there that you can sit down and watch but you decided to give me a few minutes of your precious time it means the world to me thank you so so much for watching i cannot wait to see you in my next one Bye.